Good morning guys. It is March 1st, 2018. It's been uh, two, three weeks since I did a video. So I think it's about time we do another one. We have added a few uh, items, fish to the fish room in the last few weeks and we've been busy selling a lot of packages going out on uh, aquabid as well as some we have a group here locally that a lot of people have come over and got some fish so that's good it's always nice to interact with uh, people in person versus online so that's good uh, what else is going on well we hit 2000 2000 I'm a little ahead of myself we hit 200 subscribers this week so thanks everybody for that so let me go ahead and show you what has been going on the fish room is a mess I've got some fish that I bought at a local fish store and I, I've got them quarantined right now. I've got some uh, Denison barbs, young ones, and some little panda quarries. I think there's 10 of each in here. But as you can see, I've got this 10 gallon just sitting on a bucket right in the middle of my fish room. Because I did not intend to buy those fish. Um, but as all of you are well aware, when you go to when you stop in a fish store, sometimes it's hard to not buy. So at the uh, aquarium club meeting last week, I got uh, one of the members was kind enough to give me some water lettuce. So those are going to be in my outdoor uh, tubs as soon as it warms up. For now, I'm letting them live here. They are uh, starting to uh, spread. I got this plant here is kicking out two or three new ones, so I'm excited about that. Um, the red delta fry are getting big. They're about ready to move from this bucket to a tank. So my ram pair, there's the male, there's the female. They quit spawning for a while and I couldn't figure out what was going on. Water was good. Um, I gave them a lot of time to get going again, but they quit. <clears throat> so what I did, he was chasing her around really bad. She had lost her color and uh, seems like he wanted to spawn, but she didn't. And uh, she was really stressed out. So I put in some of their babies just to kind of take the focus off of her and it worked within a day or two of me doing that they spawned again and I don't know if we'll be able to see it because I don't have um, a light on there so let me see if I can well let me find my light and I'll show you those guys later, but there's 60 or so uh, 
Now there they are. Can you see them? Anyway, so they spawned again and I've got these guys swimming now and they've, they've graduated from vinegar eels to uh, baby brine shrimp. So my white clouds here, I actually set up a uh, breeding tank for them. So that little two and a half gallon tank has a mesh bottom. And right now I do have eggs on the floor of the tank. Um, this is the second batch of eggs. Uh, the first one's fungus up, so I'm trying a little methylene blue this time to see what happens, but uh, the plan for the white clouds is breeding in the outdoor tubs this year, so in here I brought in some yellow shrimp. I don't know if you can see those guys. They're doing good. Little update on the ram fry. They are getting big now. Um, I'm starting to be able to see the males versus the females. So we're going to start uh, reducing the size of this group and see if I can get a couple more pairs. Uh, the angels are doing good. I've sold a bunch of these, but boy, the more you sell, the bigger they grow. And it just doesn't look like I've sold any. But they're doing great. My discus are doing fantastic. Uh, let's see. I brought in some Blue Dream shrimp. And they're doing good so far, still young. What else do we have? I've got I've got eggs in here. These probably will hatch uh, this evening sometime. And these guys decided to use the glass this time, and they just spawned last night. So uh, be probably tomorrow evening when those hatch. The long fin bristle nose tank is just going crazy. I've got fry everywhere. Cherry shrimp. The red cherries are doing great. They're eating this morning. The moss is just doing way better than I could have hoped for. That tank's doing really good. Let's see. Here's an update on this pair. Uh, I'm going to move those babies to their own tank this weekend. And believe it or not, that pair has had two spawns and the babies survived both spawns. I lost about half of the first batch to flukes, but got that figured out and uh, medicated these guys right away. They're doing good. Their first, their first batch is down here, and they're growing fast. The tank is filthy. Uh, the glass is, that is. But they're doing good. And let's see, last, no, not last, I brought some uh, Blue Star Endlers in. Uh, very young, they came in from a guy off of Aquabid in Hawaii. So I'm really hoping we get, they all survived the trip, and they're all growing. 
So hopefully we get a nice colony going there. And then just yesterday I brought in these L10A uh, red lizard whip tails. And I hope you can see that. They came in very small, a lot smaller than I expected, but they're doing good. Uh, lost a few in the bag. There was three that didn't make the trip, but I'm excited to grow those out and, and uh, play around with those and try and get those to breed have in here another purchase from Aquabid is a he called them a blueberry phantom shrimp they're not as dark as the blue dreams so I didn't mix them. I want to grow them out and get two, two different colonies, both the Blue Dreams and these blueberries. I'm not really sure what the, the actual um, strain is, but that was the first time I heard blueberry. And uh, if anybody knows, let me know. They kind of look like the Blue Bolts or Kind of a, well, I don't know. If you guys know, let me know. Anyway, I've got orchid endlers in this tank as well. And that colony is really going well. Lights off in here right now, but my 10-gallon uh, planted tank that was an experiment is doing great. The flame moss going good. I put a pair of white clouds in here as well, and the female dropped her eggs. So I removed the fish, and we'll see if we get any success there. Here is my giant uh, sword tail. Sorry for the glare. I have never seen domesticated sword tails that big before so I'm really happy with those those females are just huge I don't know if you guys can get the idea they're big anyway guys just an update on what's been going on sorry I haven't posted for a while but things have been hectic but we can't go without saying hello to Sammy. He is king of the 5150 fish room. All right, guys, next time I'll uh, feed him for you so you can see it, but. Well, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, hit the button. We'll see you next time.